Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Rosibel. Hi. Thank you. Uh, you were in the class yesterday, right, Rosibel? Uh, no, yet. No, no, yet. Okay, so welcome. No. My name is Javier Gomez. I'm the new teacher. <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, um, from El Salvador. From El Salvador. Uh -huh. Ilopango. Okay. Uh -huh. so, yeah, yeah. okay, so welcome to the class. Yes. Ilopango. Okay. Hi, Ilopango. Okay, Thank you. good. Good. So, yesterday mm -hmm. we have some uh, details about the class. For example, that you have to, uh, and it's a most that you have to have your, your camera on, right? And your name, like you have right now, it's, it's okay. And also, um, what else? Uh, well, you have to complete the re three requirements. That is the platform, the attendance to the to the virtual classes, right? And, uh, and a poll, right? An request, right? At the end of the class, at the end of the course, right? So welcome, welcome, receive it. Okay. okay, Domingo, how are you? Thank you. Okay, welcome. How are you, Domingo? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I, I, I cook. Uh, okay. Okay. Need to see you again. And Oscar Arnulfo, how are you? It's a rain. My downtown. Okay. Is it raining in your house, Oscar? Yes. Okay. Good. So welcome everybody. Uh, I have your message, Leslie. I understand, don't worry. Yes, yes, okay, good. And now we're going to start with, uh, you know, the introduction, but uh, I will leave like about five minutes before to start to the attendant, right? So let, let's go to the presentation today. Okay, let me see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work program, Intermediate Tree, right? Today, we're going to uh, have this topic, Product Life Cycle Presentation. Yesterday, we learned about the, the different stages of, uh, of the life of a product, right? So today we're going to continue. And today you are going to make a presentation, right? For the class, okay? Today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, Friday, June 24th, right? Okay, then uh, to begin, we all will have a discussion, right? So today uh, we're going to continue with the topic of yesterday, uh, advertising. Right, advertise. So let's start with uh, Domingo. Question number one, Domingo. Is there truth in advertising? Are they honest when they advertise? Domingo, what do you think? Uh, truth is true. Uh... Truth is the reality. For example, if they say this medicine is good for a headache, and it's true, or say you're going to be happy if you drink Coca Cola, uh, it's true, right? You're going to be happy, right? Okay. <laughs> you understand? These shoes are forever. You know, you will use these shoes forever. It's true. I mean, everything that you see in, in the advertising, in, in the commercials, is true. The commercial is a uh, 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 the food uh, uh, McDonald. McDonald, for example. Uh -huh. Is it true that the best hamburgers in the world are McDonald's? Yes or no? Yes. 
Yes, okay. I see. <laughs> Domingo, you're convinced for the commercial, right? That's nice. Okay, very good. And what do you think, Oscar Anulfo? Do you think that is there truth? Is, is reality? I mean, everything that they sell it's in. It's more a little hamburger the McDonald's. <laughs> okay, I understand. So, <laughs> so you're not convinced, right, Oscar? <laughs> you're not convinced. I understand. Good. Now, let's go to the next question. What kind of advertisements attract your attention, right? Uh, let's see, Rosibel, can you help us with this question? What kind, what categories of advertisements attract your attention? About a, a healthy. Oh, okay, good. Um, you know, like food, medicine, programs, go to uh, the gym, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay, good. Yes. That's nice, yes. right? Go to the gym. Oh, this herbal life is the best. Ah, you know. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let me see. Next question, right? Aminda, hello, Aminda. So here we have another uh, question. <clears throat> Why is it necessary to advertise? Uh, it's necessary to to promote the the product. Uh huh. You're totally right. If you work for a company, I mean, in in what way people will know your product, right? Only advertising, right? Okay, yeah, good answer. That's right. Wendy, do you think advertising should be allowed to interrupt TV, radio programs, the videos in YouTube, <laughs> Facebook? <laughs> well, everywhere you um, go, right? On the radio, you, you're listening to the radio and then a the commercial, commercial, right? On, on cable, okay. right? Everywhere yeah. you go, even in, on the street, you know, you see the big billboards, you know? So yeah. everything is interrupted by commercial, right? Or advertising. Yeah. Do you yeah. think, is that correct? Should be this situation allowed? Um, in my opinion, and for me, it's not correct, but, um, but they needed to do it because okay. it is the way to promote the products. Okay. They don't have any other way. For example, if you're watching TV, uh, La Selecta is playing, right? And then yeah. uh, Pilsener is the best, you know? Yeah, exactly. Pernillantas, Mi uh, Frio, et cetera, et cetera. So you have a lot of commercial, right? Exactly. Okay. It's the only way that they have. So you agree on that, right? Good. Yeah, I'm agree. Thank you. And let me see. Next question, right? And, oh, is, is it rainy here, right? Uh, Domingo, again, please help me, Domingo. What, in your opinion, oh. Domingo, in your opinion, what is the best way, what is the best form to advertise to children? If you want to convince the children to buy products, what is the best way? Is uh, the chi uh, um, or respect the children? Mm -hmm. You want to uh, convince children to buy your product, Domingo. What is the uh, best form to convince them? Um, I might I'm, I'm, I'm no incor no I'm not I'm not correct um the or promotion. Uh -huh. no uh the promotion um uh uh publicist uh direct uh CF direct uh uh a children. I don't, I don't know, it's correct. It, I don't it's know. not correct, okay. No. Well, but one way could be to, well, children are attracted by, by food, by games, you know, by, by toys. Today, well, most children have a telephone, right? Maybe a telephone, you know? Okay, uh, but what about adults? Rosibel, can you help I, me How? What is the best way to convince adults to buy products? Sorry, Sorry. social media. Okay, I will repeat the question, Rosibel. Okay, what is the best way to advertise to adults? If you social want to, media. Uh huh. Sorry. 
Social media. Social media, Maybe. correct. That's one mm -hmm. way, right? Because everybody, well, I have Facebook, right? But, but most people have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, uh, well, a lot of a lot of um, apps, right? The media. So if you want to convince the public, go to the media, right? In fact, uh, politicians now are using the media to convince people, right? I remember the traditional way is to, you know, to paint the walls of the street, uh, the streets. Okay, the poles, you know, the posters, you know, the poles. But now, not anymore. Only the social media. So that's the way you convince people, right? Okay, thank you, Aminda. If you want to convince seniors, you know, like well. I guess I'm a kind of senior, right? <laughs> so how do you convince them, Aminda? Uh, maybe use the, the TV. The TV, right? Yeah. Well, we, we like old music, for example, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. so that, that's one way. TV. On TV. Okay. Ah, and also uh, seniors like to read newspaper, right? <clears throat> they are yeah. traditional. We are traditional. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's nice. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to pass the attendance right now and then later we continue, right? So <clears throat> Trini. Aminda. Present. Good. Ana Maria. Now I have the correct list now, eh? <laughs> Yesterday I, I have trouble, but now I have the correct list. Uh Carlo William. Present. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo. Domingo. Okay, good. Ever. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Jose Roberto. Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Present. Okay, thank you. Lately, uh, lately is in listening, right? Maybe she's driving or something. Good. Leticia Guadalupe. Mariano Jose. Present. Okay, thank you, Mariano. Welcome. Oscar Anulfo. Present. Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present. Sonia Ivet. Present. Okay, welcome, Sonia. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Vanessa Noemi. Present. Okay, thank you for coming. Yeah. Walter Omar. Walter Omar. Present teacher. Oh, good. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Walter. My name is Javier Gomez. I'm the new teacher. <laughs> Welcome. So, uh, Wendy Karina. Present. Wendy. Present. Okay, good. Vicky Dinora. Vicky. Miriam Veronica. Chamba. Are you there, Chamba? Not yet. Good. Debbie. Okay. Give me a second. I have a message here. Uh, yes. Okay. Good, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Let's continue, right? Okay, next question. Let me see. Present teacher. Uh, sorry? I am Trini. Uh, can, can you repeat? Sorry, I have problem because it's raining in my house. So. Trinidad. Trini, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, welcome, Trini. Well, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody else? Let me see. Ana Maria, Claudia Guadalupe, Jose Roberto, Carla Benazir. Leticia Guadalupe, Rosemary, 
Vicky Dinora, Miriam Verónica, Chamba. No, okay, good. Present. Ah, Chamba. Hey, hello, hello. Hello, mister. Welcome. Good. That's it, right? Okay, today we have two new students, right? Welcome to the class. Nice. I'm happy to, to have you in my class, right? Now let's continue. Um, every class I will bring these topics. I repeat, yesterday I said that <clears throat> these topics are not strictly related with the, with the book, with the manual, right? But it's a way to discuss, it's a way to, to introduce the class, right? So every time we're going to have uh, a discussion before to start, right? So I want to listen to uh, your opinions. So, um, Chamba, let's start with you, Chamba. Let's continue with this. Uh, do you think advertising is too expensive, Chamba? Imagine you, are, you have a company, right? And you want to advertise your company. Do you think it, this is expensive? Okay, so Wendy, help me, Wendy. Do you think it advertising is too expensive? Yes or no? Uh, in my opinion, yes. It yes, is right. Yeah. Uh, in in on the radio, I don't know how to say that in English, but they say una cuña, right? Yeah. On, on the radio, come on, it's, it's really expensive, right? Or even in the newspaper, the it's newspaper. expensive. Totally right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now the the promotions in uh, or uh, let's say the the advertising on the newspaper is reducing because the media, right? The social media, but still yeah. it's it's expensive, right? On TV, come on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In TV it's really expensive, too much. right? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, next question. Let me see. Uh, Walter Omar, please. Walter. Uh, can you remember? an advertising campaign that caught your attention? You know, there are many campaigns, right? Political, about sports, about a new product, about what, uh, Christmas, for example. I, I have my mind now or my company, McCormick, uh, oh. in Spanish is Para Toda La Vida. Ah, okay. Yes, I remember. I remember that campaign. Yes. It's a, <laughs> I think yeah. it's a, now a song or a single in the radio. In the radio and on TV too, right? Well then. In the TV too, yes. Uh -huh, I remember, yes. Yeah. And it's a big company, of course. Yes. Yes, I remember that campaign. Thank you, Walter. Okay. okay. And let me see. Uh, Vanessa Noemi, please. Um, what is the most popular way of, of advertising, in your opinion? The most popular way mm -hmm. for me is in the social media because social everyone media. In, in this day has a, what, a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Totally agree, you know. Or you or YouTube. YouTube, come on, it's every time you want to see a video, you have, uh, you are you exclusive. You have fun advertising. Right? <laughs> yes, all the <Yeah>. time. <laughs> okay, good. So I totally agree. Then, um, uh, Sonia Yvette, please. Yvette, uh, do you think that the internet and cable, right, Cable satellite is the same, right? TV um, have become more important than national TV for advertising products. For example, uh, you know, I see that all of you are very young, right? But in my case, <clears throat> I'm not very young, but you know, I remember the 70s, for example, right? The 70s, you used to, to watch only commercials on in channel two, channel four, channel six, only national TV, right? But uh, do you think that the commercial in other in other places, right, have become more important? Yvette, what do you think? 
I don't understand the question. Okay, I will repeat, listen. In the past, we only watched commercial or advertising on TV, the national TV, right? Okay? But now there are other ways, especially social media, right? Sp social media is substituting and, and also cable, right? You know, Tigo, Claro, uh, another company, right? Are offering this way, no more the national because I remember that we used to see only channel two, channel four, channel six, only that. That was the only way to watch uh, advertising, right? Even, but now the question is, do you think other ways of promoting advertising are substituting the national TV? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, right? I saw advertising in social media, um, okay. flyers. Flyers too? Like a, a way. It's not popular, but exists. Yes, in, in the commercial center, every time you see, they give you flyer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Good, next question, let me see. Um, so we have Rosibel. Rosibel, listen. Uh, what do you think is the best way of discovering the taste and interest of teenage consumers what is the best way of discovering what they like the interests of teenagers maybe uh, taste is a different uh, uh, flavors uh-huh i mean when, when I say taste, I say, what do teenagers like? What do they like, you know? So what, what do you think is the best way to discover what teenagers like today? Um, um, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. For example, no. uh, what about music? For example, today, a lot oh. of teenagers like reggaeton, for example, right? Sorry, I, I hate reggaeton. But you know, uh, you are very young, so maybe most of you like reggaeton. <laughs> and music, right? Uh, video games, right? Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, video games, sport, not too much. Uh, cell phones, yeah, mm -hmm. teenagers today are really interested. So you, do you think that <clears throat> if you promote those products, you are going to, uh, attract the attention of, of teenagers, Rosibel? Okay, uh, show uh, uh, the, 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 for example, if the teenagers like to listen music, for example, the apps uh, for in your cell phones, uh, nice. not use that kind of apps. Okay apps in in their cell phone right that's a good way to go and discover mm -hmm. what teenagers like uh, yes because uh, every app you have in your cell phone there are there are uh, advertisement right in, included in the package included <laughs> the advertising right and the best yeah. way to go and, and discover what they like teenagers like you know it's is apps on their cell phone good thank you thank you Rosibel. Now, let me see, um, I have Oscar Anulfo, right? Oscar Anulfo, how easy do you think it is to influence children with advertising? Do you think it's easy or difficult, Oscar Anulfo? Uh, how easy for the children can listen, can watch uh, anymore on the TV, on the access, the the, the internet is, is easy influence the children. I totally agree, right? Today, most children have access to internet. It, it's sad to say, it's sad to say, because in internet, you have a lot of things, right? 
uh, profane words, uh, pornography, uh, drugs, uh, crime. There is everything on the internet, right? And it's easy to go and access to children, right? And if you want to advertise, in this case, it's easy to convince children, right? Uh, drink Coca-Cola, uh, churritos, <laughs> candies, video games, movies. Disney, for example, is promoting a lot of movies, right? So, yeah, I totally agree, right? That is easy to convince children. Good. Uh, let's go to the last two questions, right? Let me see. Uh, Mariano? Hello, Mariano. Uh, help me. Do you agree with anti-consumerism organization, and that is the last question. It says, uh, I will read, listen. Do you agree with anti-consumerism organizations that the children will have watched 350,000 commercials by the time they graduate, she graduate, sorry, from high school? Mm -hmm. Do you agree with this information? Do you think it's true or it's too exaggerated? You say, no, come on. Uh, I think it's true, teacher. Okay. But the commercial or is the less number that the... You think it's less? Correct. <laughs> yes. Let's say, for example, so, Marian, okay, let me see. I, I, I'm sure you already graduated from high school, but let's, let's take one example. Mariano Jose Pacas. How many commercials did you see today, Mariano? I don't know, but... Inclu it's, listen, it's, include the, the billboards on the street, right? Billboards on the yes. street, newspaper, radio, social media. Every time I, I watch mm -hmm. uh, different uh, commercials in mm -hmm. the in around the day, in, it's implicit to, to watch a commercial. Every time, yeah. So how many Every do time. you think did you see today? How many commercials? Uh, 50. 50. Mm, that's a good know. number, right? Okay, let's multiply 50 by 365 days in the year. I'm not For three years? <laughs> in two, three years, five years, 10 years. Yeah. So yes, we're exposed yes. to a lot of commercial, a lot of advertising, you know? Yeah. Yes, it's a big number. Yeah, of course, right? Okay, that's it, right? Any extra commentary? Good. So let's continue with the class. Let's continue with the class. So this was just the, the introduction, right? Uh, let's review the topic of yesterday because we're going to use this information to work today. Uh, yesterday we were learning, ah, oh, by the way, there was a mistake in the platform. So be careful because uh, some students were asking me today that yes, there is a mistake in the platform, right? That uh, in the task for today, there are four questions. But question number one and question number three were, they were, you know, make they were switched. <laughs> so the first one was a decline. And the number three was maturity, right? So be careful when you answer. Uh, so I will tell you that you answer according to the platform because it's a, it's a program. So please uh, try to answer. Even you know, you say, no, but this information is incorrect. Don't worry about that. You answer according to the platform, please. But the correct information is here. So I will repeat. Uh, I need someone to help me reading again, please. Uh, let me see. Carla Vanessa, can you help me reading what is this stage of the product life cycle? Okay, market introduction. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product might be loud and marketing efforts try to develop branding quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. Thank you very much. Any question about this? We discussed this yesterday, but even if you have questions. Listen, I want you to be clear in this because I will. we are going to work together today. 
Yes, is a new product. They don't have a, a demand, right? Because it's new, the product is new. And <clears throat> they try to, to develop the, the name of the brand, you know, uh, Churritos, Chur, Churritos uh, Gonzalez, for example. <laughs> Domingo, you know? Domingo is creating a new product, a product uh, Churrito Gonzalez, the best product. So you have to develop in the brand of your, your, of your product, the quality and awareness is when, when people know about, when they are conscious of your product, right? Good. This is the first stage. The second one is growth. Growth. Uh, let me see who's going to help me. Mm, Domingo, please. Can you help me reading this part, please? Uh, group, uh, the new product re register I ascribe and demand. Damn, I said demand because more customer accept it as it the sales start to grow and there is little competition. Thank you, thank you. Increase. And then more customers and more customers are, are eating more Churrito Gonzalez, right? Churrito Gonzalez become very popular now, right? And there is no more competition, right? The product is young, so it's becoming popular, right? Okay, Carlos William, can you help me with the next stage, please? Maturity. Read, please, Maturity. Carlos. Maturity. The growth in sales decrease because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing efforts were to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than in the previous stages. Good, so the sales go down. Right? The reason more people are creating the more churrito, right? Churrito Gonzalez decrease. So, and uh, they, they, they know your product. They, they know that what are the pros and the cons of your product, right? And so you have to reduce the price of your product, you know? Okay? Good. And then, uh, we have uh, Aminda, please. Would you like to read the last stage decline? Okay, the product is not launched, attractive for many customers, sales stopped, and the producers start making decisions about discontinuing the product, buying out competitors or selling into another producer. Good, so sorry for Churritos Gonzalez, Goodbye. <laughs> no more in the market, right? It's no more attractive, the client, right? And you are not selling the product. And we have this, the, the producers can make three decisions, you know? Number one, decision number one, stop. Stop producing the, the product, right? Discontinue the product. Number, number two, buying out competitors. It means that you are going to buy a part of other companies. Uh, let's say, for example, Churritos, sorry, I mean, the, <laughs> Churrito Figueroa, for example, is, is a competitor, right? And Churrito uh, Gonzalez buy a part of the other company, you know, to survive. Yeah, understand? Okay. Because remember, companies are divided in, in parts, right? So, uh, one decision, if your product uh, is going down, you buy the right, I'm sorry, for Churrito Figueroa, for example, right? Option number two. Option number three is selling your product, selling Churrito Gonzalez to Churrito Figueroa. You know? <laughs> so you sell your product to, to other company, you know? Three options, stop, continue producing the product, buy the rights to other company and sell your product to other company, right? Those are the decline, uh, decision, right? For a product. Okay, good. So that is the station. Now let's go to, to the class of today. 
the product life cycle. This is the same objective of yesterday. Describe details about the stages of the product life cycle, right? So let's go to details one by one, right? The life of a product described in four stages, right? Okay. Now, this is the vocabulary we have for today class. Every time we start a class, I will explain uh, vocabulary. And this time, this vocabulary is very, very important, right? So let's start with, with uh, Debbie. Are you ready, Debbie, or you're still on your way? OK, don't worry. So she's listening, don't worry. Uh, Chamba, can you read the first concept, please? Yes, mister. Appeal, attractiveness that interests or please or a stimulate a spill. A example, this is an example. Uh -huh. The example, a Spielberg movies have a wide appeal. What is the meaning wide? Why is a uh, very big? Okay. For example, if you're selling, if you're watching a movie only in El Salvador, oh, come on, it's reduced. But if you're watching the movie in America, in Europe, in Africa, so it's wide, it's expanding. Understand? Oh, okay. Expanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, thank you, mister. Okay. It's used to be a marvelous hotel, but it has lost, it has appeal in our recent years. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I received your, your message. De Debbie, I understand. Don't worry. I understand. Thank you, Debbie. Good. Now let's continue what Chamba was reading, you know? So appeal is something that attracts you, something that pleases you, something that stimulates you, right? That's the appeal. Uh, let's say, for example, I don't know, shoes. Shoes have a, a appeal, right? So you are attractive for the, for visually, right? For the product, you're stimulated, right? Also, uh, I don't know, uh, pizza, for example, right? Pizza, you tried the pizza, you say you're, you're pleased by the pizza for the flavor, right? Okay, so that is appeal. Number two, take off, take off. Uh, let me see, Wendy. Can you help me, Wendy? Sure. Take off. Take off. Suddenly start to be successful or popular. Her singing career had just begun to take off. Right, going up. So that is take off. Uh, for example, um, KG, you know, again, sorry to, uh, to, to call this, right? La bichota, you know, <laughs> is becoming more and more popular, right? So it's, her career is taking off, right? Yvette, please. Uh, please repeat the pronunciation to appeal, appeal. Appeal. And uh, appeal. Mm -hmm. And attractive. Uh, that, that Attract? Uh-huh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Listen, when you use the word ness, uh, it means that you change an adjective, in this case, attracting, you know, it's an adjective, into a noun. So it's like, I would say in Spanish, right? Attractivo, attractividad, <laughs> you know, something like that, you know? Okay, so the correct pronunciation is <clears throat> attractiveness. Attractiveness. Appeal. Appeal attractiveness, stimulates, stimulates. And this word, <coughs> sorry, take off suddenly, suddenly. Successful, successful. You know, in Spanish, exitoso, right? Mm -hmm. So take off. And then imagine you're promoting a product in your company. A take off the product is that everybody knows your product. Everybody's buying your product. 
if you're selling, you know, computers, cars, clothes, shoes, paper, whatever you, you sell, a takeoff of the product is that is becoming uh, uh, popular. I will give you one example, you know, <clears throat> recently I have seen in the streets, on the street of San Salvador, a lot of Kia Soul, Kia Soul, you know, cars, you know, brr, the cars, they're becoming very popular. Everywhere I go, I see Kia Soul, Kia Soul here, Kia Soul. So it's becoming a, a very popular car in El Salvador, you know, Kia Soul. And, you know, those are car, those cars that are kind of a square, <laughs> you know, so uh, they have a takeoff. Or the, the thing that I was telling you about the key, KG, right? The La Bichota is her career is is taking a, uh, is taking off, you know, it's becoming popular, right? Good. And then let's go to the next one. Growth. Growth. Okay, so let me see who's going to help me. Uh, Walter Omar, please. Can you read growth? Yes, growth. Uh, increase, in increase, the size increase. Of, in, increase. Uh, increase, increase, increase mm -hmm. in the size or the importance of something. Mm -hmm. The government is trying to limit popul population growth, the rapid growth of opposition to the plan for surprise. The major. The major. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So growth. Uh, in the case of product, for example, the growth is that is going up, 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 and up, right? It's becoming more and more important, right? In size, in quality, in promotion, popularity, et cetera, et cetera, right? And well, this example of population growth is on more people, right? Other thing is the rapid growth of opposition. Uh, you know, majors is part of the political uh, importance in El Salvador, right? For example, in San Salvador, what is the name of the major? The major of San Salvador is Mario Duran, I guess, right? Mario Duran, yes. So this guy is the major. So imagine the uh, political opposition is uh, growing, right? rapid growth of the opposition. Say, no, no, the plans of the manager of San Salvador are not good. You know? So it, it's becoming more popular, right? It's just an example, right? It, it, maybe it's not true, but <laughs> just to give you an example, right? Okay, good. Any extra question, pronunciation or, or meaning? No, okay, let's continue, right? Let's continue, right? Okay, next one, demand. Demand. Uh, Vanessa Noemi, please help me. Demand. A consumer's desire and ability to purchase a good or service. There was a little demand for shoes. Good. So it's when you want to buy, when you want to purchase something, right? When you want to, uh, to buy, Good goods, merchandise, you know, that is demand. Okay, differentiate. This has two meanings, right? This has two meanings. And but the, the meaning I'm more interested in is to be able to tell apart this part. You know, it's, it's really important for me. Differentiate. And uh, Yvette, can you help me please reading this part, the examples and the concept? differentiate okay differentiate mm -hmm. to be to be able to tell apart uh, we do not difference differentiate between our employees on the base uh, basis on the basis on the basis basis, mm -hmm. basis basis of their race race religion or national origin okay sorry it says race race right <laughs> It's a mistake, sorry, it's only one. Race, raza, right? Race. Continue. Most consumers? Most consumers have no trouble differentiating our brand cereal from our lending comp comp 
competitors. 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 Mm. competitors. Ser service providers are all key to the differences themselves from their competi com competitors. <laughs> competitors. Competitors. Thank you very much. So to tell a part is to, to say, uh, okay, this serial, you know, is has this characteristic. And this other serial has other characteristics. So you can differentiate, you can <clears throat> discriminate the two products and say, this is a product and this is another product, right? Or, or maybe beverages, right? Fanta is this, Coca-Cola is this, right? So you can tell apart about the two products, okay? Good. And here they're talking about that the employees uh, must, must not be differentiated because of the race, religion, or or national region says, right? Okay, and the other one, this is not very important, so we're not going to, to listen, right? Buyout, buyout. Let me see, uh, Rosibel, can you help me with buyout? Okay, buyout, a situation in which a producer buys the shares belonging to another producer and so gets control or if Thank you very much. Uh, I will give you one example, right? Buyout. <clears throat> so um, let's say I produce shares, shares in El Salvador, right? Shares. I'm a producer, right? I have my company, I make a lot of shares, right? And, but a competitor, let's say Walter Omar. Walter Omar has another company, right? And Walter Omar is producing chairs too. He's, he's my competitor. Walter Omar is my competitor, right? Uh, chairs Castaneda, you know, Camisa Castaneda. <laughs> they are my competitor, right? So what I do is that I buy parts of the company of Walter Omar, right? Not all the company, not all the company, but parts of his company. So... <clears throat> I get control of part of the company of Walter Omar, you know? So I buy out, I buy out his company, understand? So is to have the right to produce the shares that Walter Omar is producing to, you know? Now I give money to Walter Omar, now I have the right to produce my shares and the shares of Walter Omar, okay? That's buyout. Now this continue. This continue. Um, who's going to help me? Uh, Oscar Arnulfo, please read the next. Oscar Arnulfo. Uh, this continue to stop doing or providing something. Something. The something. is the the bank is discontinuing the service. Good. Stop doing something. Stop doing something, right? That is the, <clears throat> the discontinue, not doing anymore. For example, if you're producing printers, printers the best. It's an excellent product, right? But now, ooh, declines. Nobody's buying those printers. So you, I'm not producing anymore. In El Salvador, for example, I remember there was a brand of cars. Uh, the name of these cars are El Micherito. Micherito, and the only car produced in El Salvador, you know, long time ago, Micherito. So they discontinue the production of Micherito in El Salvador because it's not popular, right? Those cars were, sorry to say, right, very ugly, <laughs> okay? And people didn't want to buy those cars, you know? So they continue producing, right, those, those cars. Good, feature. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So who's going to help me? Uh, Mariano, please. Feature. Features. A particular trait are characteristics or an important part of, of something. Or less or latest models of phone has several new features. Yeah, features are characteristics. Uh, uh, a particular thing about about something, for example, 
Huawei, for example, has a triple camera, you know? Or, or iPhone, for example, uh, when you when you lost your, your iPhone, it says, hey, Siri, hey, Siri, you know? And this is a specific characteristic for the iPhone, right? Or let's say <clears throat> the characteristic of cars, you know, the, some cars have some special features. For example, Corolla LE, Toyota Corolla LE has uh, electrical mirrors with a button, you know, right? And it also has uh, air conditioning. So, uh, uh, those are characteristics of a specific characteristic of this product, right? So those are features exclusive for this product, right? Okay, those are features, right? Withdraw, withdraw. What is withdraw? Uh, let me see. Um, Carla Vanessa, please. Carla Vanessa, can you help me? Okay, withdraw to remove or take away something from a particular place or position. Example, he asked that his product be withdrawn from the market. Withdrawn, withdrawn, right? The past participle, good. So it's take away something. You, you're, uh, this word, this uh, word is used in, in ATM, you know, cajero automaticos. In ATM, when you go, you withdraw your money from the ATM, right? Okay. So um, for example, I have I have this pen right here. So I will withdraw my pen from this place, right? Okay. Is to take away something from a particular position or place. In this case, for example, you have some products in the market. So if you say, no, I will, I don't want to continue with this product. So I will withdraw my product from the market, right? And last one, saturation, right? Saturation, who's going to help me? Ever, please. Can you help me, Ever? Yes, teacher. Really? Saturation. Mm -hmm. To provide more of a product or, no, sorry, of product of service than people want to buy. They are opening up new markets faster than the old one can be saturated. Okay, so it's provide more of a product or more of a service. Too much, too much. For example, commercial centers in El Salvador, my goodness. Wherever you go, you see commercial center in, a, in Apopa, in Lourdes, in Santa Ana, in San Miguel, in San Salvador. Oof. Wherever you go, right? It's a saturation. It's more, more. This is a service they provide, right? So. We have too much saturation, right? Okay, class. So let's go back to these concepts. We have appeal, uh, take off, growth, uh, demand, differentiate, differentiate, different, uh, differentiate, differentiate. And we have buy out, discontinue, feature, withdraw, and saturation, right? So please keep in mind this concept, right? If you want to go back to the meaning, don't worry, I can go back to the meaning, right? Because we're going to work with this in the manual. But before to go to, to this, let me see what time is it. Yeah, we're going to go to reading. Okay, listen. In my class, I will include some extra activities that are not necessarily attached to the topic, right? In this case, for example, we're going to read. I need you practice reading in English so we can, um, you know, uh, develop our skills or abilities to read, right? So we have this article, scan the advertisements. Advertisement, okay? Remember, we're talking about advertisement. So advertise your products. So we have here three, A, B, and C, okay? So we have three advertisement, right? 
Number one, how many types of toilets can you see at the museum? Ah, listen, it's a museum of toilets. <laughs> museum of toilets, right? Number two, when were the underwater sculptures designed? The second one, oh, sorry. The second one is a museum under the water. <laughs> can you imagine? So the question is, um, when were the underwater sculptor designed, right? And number three, how big is the world's smallest book? How big is it, right? So we have a micro miniature, micro miniature, min, sorry, micro miniature museum in Kiev, Ukraine. In this moment, I imagine it's close because of the war, right? Russia, Ukraine. But this is a popular uh, museum right there. Okay, so we're going to read. And I need a volunteer to read about uh, this museum. This is an Indian word, right? Sulav International Museum of Toilets, New Delhi, India, right? So who wants to help me? Volunteers, please. Me, mister. Okay, please do it. Uh, start at the uh, scan, the advertisement or- No, no here. Ever wonder, okay. uh, ever okay. wonder. Ever wonder about the history of toilets? Probably not, but visit the fascinating Subla Museum and see just how interesting they can be. Admire nearly 300 different toilets dating back to uh, 2500. 2500 BCE, some are beautifully decorated and is made of solid gold and there is electric toilet that works without water. The start of the collection is a copy of, uh, how do you say? 16th, 16th? 16th century toilet. It was used by King Louis. How do you say in 14th. English? 14th of France. Mm -hmm. Sometimes while speaking to this government, see drawings, photographs, and poems about toilets too. One photo shows a toilet that was used by an elephant. Okay, can you imagine? And this is true, it's a real museum, right? It's a real museum. So let's answer the question. How many types of toilets can you see at the museum? How many? Can you calculate? 300. 300 different styles. 300, right? Come on, imagine. I only want one in my house. I don't want a lot of toilet, right? Okay, then let's go to the, this is letter A. Now let's go to letter B. When were the underwater sculptors designed? Right? So again, I need someone to help me to read about this underwater museum Cancun, right? Uh, Mariano, please. Mariano, help me, please. Okay. Underwater Museum Cancun, Mexico. Join one of our unique tours and discover an amazing underwater world uh, 27 feet below the sea. Designed by Jason DeCaris Taylor in 2009, it has over uh, 400? 450 sculptures. They are made from natural materials and show art and nature existing side by side. The silent evolution show men, women, and Children standing together on the seabed. Seabed. They look so real that you're 
you'll want to talk to them. There are also sculptures of the house and life-size beetle car. The sculptures are covered in beautiful corals, and their appearance are constantly change, changing. Changing. Mm -hmm. Watch as an incredible variety of fishing swim in and out of them. Okay. Now let's go back to the question. He said, when were the underwater sculptures designed? When? In 2009. In 2009. They were designed in 2009, right? By Javier Gomez. Ah, no, no, sorry, Javier Gomez, no. Jason the Cares, he said, right? I don't know the guy, but imagine 450 sculptors under the water. Oof, amazing, right? This is in Cancun. If you want to visit Cancun, please try to visit this museum, right? And the last one, right? Micro Miniature Museum. Vanessa, please, can you help me reading? Micro Miniature Museum Kid Ukraine. Small really is beautiful in this museum of art with a difference. The exhibits created by artist Nikolai Sia District are so teeny, tiny, can, tiny, 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 mm. are so small, tiny. small, tiny is a small, right? Okay, are so tiny, they can only be seen clearly with a Micro, microscope. Micro, micro? Microscope. 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 Read the world's smallest book. It is only 0 0.6 millimeters in size, but contains 12 pages of poems and drawings. There is a cheese. Chess. Set chess. On you know, ajedrez, right? Chess. Ah, <laughs> there is a chess set on the head of a pin and the world's smallest electric motor. Pin is, you know, it, a, a, um, the one that is similar to needle, el que parece la aguja, and the uh, alfiler, alfiler, right? Alfiler. Okay, continue. It is? It is 20 times smaller than a piece of sand. Look closely at the eye of a needle and discover the seven camels inside read the words long light piece not on paper but written on a human hair 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 okay. hair very good hair. okay so in a needle right there are seven camels you can see the picture right here this is a needle you know aguja a needle and you can see the camel here you you see so and well many things so let's go to the question here. The question says, how big is the world's smallest book? How big is the world's smallest book? Zero point six millimeters. Zero point six millimeter, right? Imagine, I mean, only with the microscope you can read this book, right? Okay. And it contains poems and drawings, right? Okay, so that's it. Now, uh, we're going to start with the manual, but before to start with the manual, uh, I don't know if you have questions about vocabulary. Questions about vocabulary? Teacher. Yes, tell me. King Louis Fourteenth. This is uh -huh. the pronunciation. King Louis Fourteenth of France. This is Roman number. Right? Oh, with with th in the. End. No, no, without it. I say I say with th, but no, it's only fourteen. I guess. Uh, 14. It's not fourteenth. No, no. Only in the. Um, I guess the Roman 16th? numbers. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, in Spanish, it would be. Uh, Catorceavo, right? But no, no, in Spanish we say Rey Luis Catorce, right? So I guess mm -hmm. it's the same yeah. in English. King Luis 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What else? Any other question? 
Good. And question here, please. Listen. Sí, verb. Ah, ba, ba, sí, ajá, verb. Vanessa. Sí, verb. Dice, on standing together on the sea bed. Ah, sí, bed. Es, eh, sea bed is the, la cama del mar, is the bottom of the sea, you know? El, el fondo oh, marino, el fondo marino. Uh -huh. okay. Fondo marino, ajá. Uh -huh. Sea bed. Sí, sea bed, el fondo marino. Ok, eh, listen. In, in Suchitlán Lake, Suchitlán, I guess, o, o Ilopango Lake, no, Ilopango, I guess. In the Ilopango Lake, there is an attraction under the water. There is a, 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 a cross, I guess a cross. I'm not very sure. But in, in El Salvador, we have this attraction. But this is in, in lo, next to, is, the name is uh, Cerro El Quemado. Something like that. I will investigate, but uh, it's similar to this museum, but only, only you can uh, access with scuba diving, you know? It's very difficult, but, you know, it's a, a different experience. Good. Any Teacher. other question about this? Teacher, yeah, and yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. the beetle car is cut off. Beetle car. The, and this is the light season, beetle car. Uh, ah, Beetle Car. Uh, 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 it was <laughs> The Beetle Car, you know, like. Uh, okay. The Volvagen. Volvagen, they have, uh, you know, the old cars. Los Escarabajos, do you, do you know them? Yes? Yes. So, Los Escarabajos, Beetle Car. The Beetle Car, mm -hmm. yes. Is Beetle or Beetle? It said Beetle, beetle Car. Like the Beatles, beetle car. <laughs> beetle, car. Uh, uh, beetle car. Beetle car. You can say beetle or beetle. Yes. Okay. okay. Now let's go to the last one. Okay. Now, in the meantime, you're reading. I will take the attendance. Trini. Trini. Sorry? No, okay. So, Aminda? Present. Good. Ana Maria? Carlo William? <coughs> Present. Good. Claudia Guadalupe? Domingo? Present. Ever? I'm here, teacher. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Good. Thank you, Jose Roberto. Carla de Nasir. No. Okay, Carla Vanessa. Present. Laisley. Laisley. Leticia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Leticia. Thank you. Okay, I, I didn't ask you questions because I didn't know you were in the class, right? But now I will make more questions to you. Yes, participation Leticia. Okay, now Mariano. Present teacher. Good, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Good. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present. Thank you. Is Sonia Ivette? Here. Vanessa. Noemi. I'm here. Thank you. Walter Omar. Walter. Present. Good. Wendy. Wendy. I'm here. Okay, good. Uh, Vicky, Vicky Dinora, Miriam Veronica, Salvador, Chamba, Present, uh, uh, Miriam, Miriam Veronica, yes, okay, welcome, welcome Here, to the class, Miriam, Thank you. Thank sorry, you. 
I didn't ask you for participation, but because I didn't know you were there, but now I know. So I will ask you for questions, yes? Uh, it's Chamba? okay, no problem. Okay, good. And welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, Chamba? I'm here, mister. Good, good. And Debbie is just listening, right? Uh, send me a message, Debbie, for the attendance, please. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? Now let's go to the manual. Let's go to the manual. Okie dokie. Give me a second here. Uh, yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> no more questions about this, right? Okay, so I will, I will share the manual, right? Here's the manual. Good. Okay, this is the manual, right? I hope everybody has the manual. If you want, you can print it or you can have it there in your computer, right? But I will show you for you the, the manual. The, the page is number 10, right? Page number 10. And we're going to talk about this vocabulary. Which of these words are new for you? Let me see. I will ask some students, in this case, Rosibel. Rosibel, we were discussing those words in the presentation, right? Appeal, take off, growth, demand, differentiate, buy out, discontinue, feature, withdraw, saturation. Rosibel, which of these words are new for you? Appeal. Okay, good, thank you. And let me see another student at random, you know, al azar, at random. Ever de Jesus, which of these words are new for you, Ever? For me, withdraw. Withdraw, right? It's, it's a new word. Yeah, I remember uh, because when I go to the ATM, you know, Cajero Automático, I like to to use English, right? And it says withdraw. Withdraw means retiro, right? Uh -huh. So it's the same here, but in the case of withdraw, withdraw in product, right? Good. And the last, the last question, let me see. Yvette, for you, which of these words are new? Repeat the question, please. Which of these words are new in your vocabulary. Yvette? Growth, growth. Growth, uh, growth. And withdraw. And withdraw also, yes, new withdraw. words. Thank you, and we are learning, right? We are learning, so new vocabulary is important, right? Now, I have wow. a question. I have a question. Do you want that we check again the meaning of the words or you can manage, you can control the meaning of these words? Because even for me, it's difficult, right? You want to review the meaning? Yes. Yes, okay, let's go fast. Let's go fast and check the, the meaning of this word, right? Because they are asking for the meaning of these words. Here, right? Appeal, attractiveness something that stimulate you, right? Or please you. Take off to become successful, right? Okay, take off. Un despegue, right? Growth, an increase of size of importance, right? Increase, something becomes bigger or more important, right? Then we have uh, demand is the desire when you want to buy something, when you want to buy something or when you want a service, right? Good. Differ dif sorry, it's difficult for me. Differentiate, differentiate. Uh, to be able to tell apart, I mean, to, to recognize the difference from one thing to another, right? Good. Differentiate. Buy out is to buy a part of another company, right? To buy the right, you know, comprar el derecho. 
Discontinue, stop doing something. Feature, a particular trait or a particular characteristic of something, right? Withdraw is to take away something, right? And saturation is to provide more of a product or more of a cell, right? Good. Now let's, it's time to work. It's time to work. Listen, here, according to the manual, you have to create five sentences. Choose five of the words from the previous exercise and write a sentence for each of the words select, right? So please, in this moment, I need you to take your, your notebook and you are going to write five sentences, five sentences, right? Using five of these words. Look, here we have 10 words, 10 words. So you are going to use only five of these words, right? For example, you can say, uh, the food in that restaurant has a good appeal, right? Uh, the product that my brother is selling is taking off, right? That company has a good growth. Uh, other example is, um, let's say, <clears throat> Hershey's chocolate, Hershey's chocolate has a big demand, you know? So those are examples of sentences that you're going to create, right? Okay, let's just start doing. And in the moment you are <clears throat> creating the five sentences, I will show you the, the concept again, right? One by one. Teacher, the question um, from by up is the profit, the, the company. Mm -hmm. buy, out, buy out a company. That's an example, uh -huh. Domingo. Copy, copy, please. Oh. This is okay. one example, yes. Buy out okay. a company. Uh -huh. Okay. Buy out a company, right? Uh, I would say in Spanish, right? Comprar los derechos del producto de una compañía, right? So buy out. A okay. Company. Good. Teacher, y appeal es apariencia. Uh -huh. That's right. Appeal. Mm. And uh, it's a positive uh, characteristic because appeal is the what attract you or oh, something that is attractive for you. For example, in, in your case, do you like shoes? Yes. Of course, right? So <laughs> the shoes have, yeah. you can see my shoes, I have like three or four pairs only, right? But for women, ooh, <laughs> a lot of no, shoes. No, me right? too, I, I have only five, five pairs. Only, only, <laughs> only 500. <laughs> Only 500. Five. <laughs> no. Okay, so the shoes are attractive for you. They have a good appeal, you know? <clears throat> five sentences, five sentences, please. Don't copy the examples here, right? Don't, don't be cheaters. No sean trampositos. Don't copy the example, right? You create your own sentences, please. Create your own sentences. <laughs>
I will give you one more minute, right? One more minute. Okay, time is over. Don't worry if you don't finish at least one sentence, right? So, volunteers, please, to read the sentence. Yes. Carlos, please. Okay. The first sentence is, I want to withdraw my money from ATM. Oh, good. <laughs> and please, Carlos, share with the class your money. Eh? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Good, another volunteer, please. Well, only one sentence, read one of your sentences. Okay. Me? Uh-huh, please, who? Raise uh, your hand, hands up, right? With this weather, the umbrellas have a lot of demand. The, um, yeah, <laughs> come on, excellent. I like your example, yes. The umbrella have a lot of demand, right? In, in boats also, <laughs> because we have rivers in San Salvador, right? <laughs> boats yes, have a big demand, eh? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, more examples. Come on, participation. I like that. Come on, participation. Me, Me teacher. Okay, please, go ahead. Okay, uh, we discounted the product because the market inflation increased. Good, discontinued, right? Excellent example. Congratulations. This is for you, right? Good. Come on. More examples. More examples. Yes, Vanessa? Sure. Vanessa, no. Okay. The product has failed, so we, we must withdraw. We must withdraw the product. Very good. And, and anybody else? Somebody was speaking over there. I heard another voice. A teacher. Ah, please, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, go the, the business of my friend is growth. Now, uh, he has three stores. Okay, is has a growth, right? Has a growth, because this ah, okay. is a noun, right? He has yes. three stores. Nice, good example. This is for you too. Okay, the last example, please. The last example. Yes, what? Uh, um, Yvette, Yvette, please. Thank you. I cannot uh, make the transfer because the system is saturated. Saturated, right? Okay, very saturated. good. Saturated. This is the last one, saturation, right? Okay, congratulations, class. I like that. I like your participation. Good. Now let's go to the manual again. Good, these are the examples. And now it's time to, to work together, right? I will make the breakup room. If you don't have the manual, please, I need you capture the, the, the screen, right? Captura de pantalla, please, in this moment. Good, Domingo, I read your example. Thank you, good example. Withdraw the product, right? Thank you, Domingo. Please capture the screen, please. Capture the pantalla here. Oh, if you have the manual, use the manual, right? If you have your manual with you, use the manual. Is page number uh, 11, right? Page number 11. 
But if not, I need to capture, capture the, the screen, please. Ready? Okay, now pay attention, please. We are going to make a, we're going to make breakout rooms, you know? I will divide the group in a small groups, right? Every group is going to have a secretary. Every group is going to have a secretary. I will have four groups, four groups, right? And let's go and read together. Select a product known by everyone in your team. So you're going to select shoes, watches, food, services, uh, cars, motorcycles, uh, cell phones, any product, any product. For example, one example could be Coca-Cola, for example. Coca-Cola is a product that everybody knows, right? Now, you're going to prepare a presentation to explain the stages of the product life cycle. Remember, there are four, uh, there are four stages. You can check in your, in your manual. It's a market introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. So you are going to explain the market introduction, the growth, the maturity and the decline of your product. For example, let's say, let's talk about uh, Bracos. Bracos is a, is, a, is a brand of shoes, right? So you can say uh, Bracos, right, was introduced in El Salvador in 1970. And blah, 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 blah. So you describe the four stages of the product life cycle about zapato bracos, you know, bracos shoes. And I, I, I believe they are still selling the product in, in, in Pardos, right? The shoe store Pardos. This is one example. Or you want to talk about uh, uh, La Neveria ice cream, right? For example, right? Or you want to talk about what? Computers? Uh, HP computers, for example, right? Et cetera, et cetera, right? Good. What are you going to do? Brainstorm all the information you remember about that product, right? The characteristics of the product, right? Number two, do you remember some data about the maturity of the product? Did the product decline, yes or no? Is the product available on the market these days? For example, yesterday I was describing Leche Formos, right? Leche Formos is no more available. And Galletas Tipo, yes, it's available too, okay? So again, <clears throat> I will repeat the instructions. I will divide the class in groups, four groups, four breakout rooms. In every group, you are going to make a little presentation a little presentation, right? And you are going to describe the four stages of the product, right? The four stages. What are the four stages? I will review with you. I will review the four stages. The four stages are the next. Market introduction. Growth, maturity, and decline, okay? Again, market introduction, growth, maturity, and decline, right? Okay, so with this information, you are going in group, you're going to decide in what product, what product are you going to present and describe the four stages of this product, right? Okay, now I will make up the breakout rooms. And I need your name a secretary in every group, right? A secretary, right? Okay, group number one.
Trini, please copy. Group number one. Trini, Carlos, Ever, Oscar Arnulfo. And Debbie, you are listening. Debbie is, va a estar de oyente. Pero va a estar en el grupo también. Oops. Break up room. Number one. Trini, Carlos, Ever, Oscar Arnulfo. So you decide, choose the secretary in the group, right? Copy the members. Trini, Carlos, Debbie, Ever, and Oscar Arnulfo. Number two. Carla Vanessa. Miriam Verónica, Rosibel, Chamba, and Wendy. Carla Vanessa, Miriam, Rosibel, Chamba, and Wendy. This is group number two. Group number two. Carla Vanessa, Miriam Verónica, Rosibel, Chamba, and Wendy. Name a secretary, please. Group number three. Aminda. Leticia Guadalupe, Vanessa Noemí, Walter Omar. Aminda, Leticia, Vanessa, Walter Omar. En group number four, Domingo Alexander, Yvette, Mariano, en Roberto, José Roberto. Domingo, Yvette, Mariano, Roberto, ¿ok? Name a secretary and choose a product. Name a secretary and choose one product. Then you're going to make a presentation about the product, right? With the four stage, right? Okay, when you read the, the message, please go and, and start, please. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Do it. Leticia, everything is okay, Leticia? Hello, Leticia. Leticia. In, in PowerPoint, right? we, okay. we need, uh, we need a, a talk about, about this topic. Perfect. Only. Hello guys, hello. Did you choose the product? Yes. What is the product? No, en eso estamos ahorita. Oh, okay, estamos... good. And who, who is the secretary? We choose the, secret... the secretary. Uh, we got uh, uh, some issues about this because uh, anyone in this group has uh, a computer. Uh, ah, okay. It's a good option. I will work only in a uh, uh, cell phone. Okay. Uh, my suggestion is computers. Computers. Okay, but decide the brand. HP, Dell. Okay. 
No. No, lo que le queremos decir. Teacher, no podemos, que... na, na, nadie tiene computadora para hacer la presentación. Ah, no, no, no. Don't worry about that. You are going to speak only. Only speak. Ah, ok, perfect. Yeah, don't perfect. worry. There is no much time, right? Yeah. There is no much time. Casi no tenemos tiempo. Only, okay, we... only explain. Uh, for example, say the market introduction of this product was this. The maturity is that, etc., etc., right? Only speak. That's why I say choose a secretary and copy the okay. ideas. Okay? okay? Good. Okay, perfect. Good. Perfect. I will go to another room, right? I will go to another room. Perfect. Leticia, can you hear me? Hello, Leticia. Hello, hello. Everything is okay? Yes. Yeah, yes. Did you decide the product? Yes. Yes. What is the product? Pupusas. Pupusas. Okay, good. <laughs> so, but uh, choose a brand. Pupusa Julia, Pupusas. Um, uh -huh. Oh, good. You're get, making a presentation. That's nice. Yeah. Good. Yes. Uh, but I need a brand. Pupusa okay. Margot. Brand. Pupusas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. not necessary the, the, the presentation in the computer, but if you have the time, no problem. Uh -huh. Okay. How many times? How many times? Uh, like for three pressure, minutes. Only three minutes. Okay. Okay. Two minutes. Okay. Very fast, right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry too okay. much. Yes. Don't worry too much about the presentation. Yes. But uh, please choose a brand. Mm -hmm. Puse la favorita. Okay. Good. That's nice. <laughs> good. And name a secretary, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you. Sí, solo yo soy la capital, he visto los chores. Hello, guys. Hello. Everything is okay? Oh, dog chores, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not necessary a presentation in the computer, but if you want to make it, no problem for me. That's okay. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, it's only blah, 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 but if you want to make the presentation, oh. no problem, yes. And yeah, you have okay. two minutes or three minutes the most. Just don't worry. It's a very simple presentation, right? Don't worry too much. Okay. Okay. Yes. Do you have any question? No. No. Okay, good. So continue, continue working. Continue working. Don't worry. Okay. Hello guys. Yes. Everything is okay. Present. Yes. Everything okay, teacher. 
Uh, listen, it's not necessarily a formal presentation. Ah, we, okay. You can speak only if you want. Okay, understand? Yes. Okay. I, I repeat, it's not necessary a, a PowerPoint presentation. A video, it's not necessary. But if you want, you can do it. No problem. Understand? It's, it's up to you. It's your decision. But you have only two minutes for the presentation. So it's going to be very, very easy. Don't worry. But uh, what is the name of your product? Cola yes. Champagne. Uh, Cola Champagne. Cola Champagne. Yes. yes. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah. Okay. So describe the four stages, right? Market introduction, growth, maturity, and decline, right? With the product of Fanta. I mean, Cola Champagne, sorry. Okay. okay. Continue yeah. working. Continue working. Leticia, can you help me? Can you listen to me? Leticia Guadalupe. Teacher, I will be Hello, Leticia. Estamos Hello, Leticia. Estamos trabajando en grupo, Leticia. Sí, pero estoy, voy a estar en, en voy a estar escuchando. Va solo escuchando, pero necesito que se una a un grupo. Le voy a dar la opción ahorita, porque ahorita está trabajando el grupo. Solo escuche, no hay problema, pero déjeme ver, aquí está. Va a estar con el, el grupo número cuatro. El grupo de cola champán. Solo escuche lo que dicen. Y una hacia el grupo, por favor, Leticia. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. No me aparece el enlace, teacher. No le aparece, déjeme ver. La voy a mover otra vez. Permítame. La vamos a mover al grupo 1, entonces. Déjeme ver si se puede. Ahí tendría que aparecerle. ¿Hoy sí? Ok. In 1964, the Pachuteca grows. The Pachuteca grows, and he put in a different branding for the different um, department in El Salvador. Thank you, Repete. This, the last sentence. In, in 1964, Tapachulteca, Tapachulteca wrote, and. Or maybe they expanded. They expanded around the, the, the country for the different departments. Band. Around around the country? Around the country. I was.
crecimiento sería. Change. Yeah. change the 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 recipe, no sé. Algo así. Aunque en un par de años la demanda podría decrecer porque muchas personas prefieren la comida más sana. So, entonces el doctor podría debe no cómo se dice como debería. Be. Will be would be the real mm -hmm. will be changed will be changed the recipe would be tirana will be changing this yes. Vaya, no sé qué más se puede poner. I think that, that's it. <laughs> Los choris. Ok. Los choris, choris, choris. Ahora vamos con la otra, la de la, la de cosilla, discontinuo, discontinuo, no, maturity, ah, maturity, maturity. Actually, the, the beverage is, is mi gente, is it's alive. <laughs> It's it's a nostalgic beverage. Yes, and was a, a change of, of image. A Sunday beverage. With pupusas. With pupusas. Ah, with pupusas. Um, and a, and the the the, the package, the package is is um, is other. Soda. Yes. Is um uh, in. in years the the world was the uh, glass yes uh, glass bottle Time to go to bed.
Hello, everybody. Hello again. Hello. Okay. So I will give only two minutes because of the time, right? To every group to present the product. Remember, it's not necessary you expand, right? It's a simple presentation. And one member of the group, if you want the secretary, is your option, right? Can describe the four stages of your product, right? So we're going to start with group number one. Trini, Carlos, Debbie, Ever, Leticia, and Oscar Arnulfo, right? All right. The microphones are yours. Okay. Uh, the product we chose is La Tapachulteca. And the test for market introduction, the Tapachulteca is founded in 1962. And the principal way to market introduction was flyer magazines and radio too. And next stage growth. In 1964, Tapachulteca growth and expanded around the country. And the principal branding that has distribution rights are Lego, Fisher Price, and Mattel. And the next stage is maturity. When the country has a, a the Pachulteca has 43 branches and decline, my group helped me. Okay, okay, thank you. Fast and good. Thank you very much to Carlos and to the group number one. Thank you very much. Good. Now let's go to group number two. Carla Vanessa, Miriam, Veronica, Rosibel, Salvador Augusto, Chamba, right? And Wendy. The microphones are yours, group number two. Okay, mister. Okay, let's select the pupusas. The pupusas okay. is the favorite food of the Salvadorian people. You can choose the ingredient, ENG, beans, cheese, cheese, shrimp, Loroco, beef, pork, fish. You ask for and we do it. Growth. A street food combines several elements of the another recipes into the ultimate pupusa. The successful or, of our growth is the combine the several flavors. And the product is not declined because La Selecta Pupusas are innovating with the food trucks and food is so popular and demand in this country. Also, we getting a new type of pupusa with the different flavors of, and the people love them. Good, thank you, thank you, group number two. I'm really surprised. You create the presentation so fast, the picture so fast, and uh, you describe the, the stage, right? Uh, and of course, the decline, not yet, because this, the product is still alive, right? And continue in the market. That's nice. Congratulations, group number two. Yes. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, I'm really surprised in a good way, right? Good. Group number three, Aminda, Vanessa, and Walter, please. The microphones are yours. Speak, please. Okay, um, in the market, well, the product that we choose is choris, the hot dog choris. And the market introduction, um, I don't know if <laughs> this is the true information, but the company started the service in 2000 after that the sales increase up grew until 2010, in a few months, it was popular fast food in the San Salvador streets. And the principal feature about this product is the price because it is cheaper and also many people like um, the taste of the hot dog in the category of group mature and decline. Uh, as we know, the product didn't decline this time. They are in the best time of sales. 
And also in a pair of years, the demand could decrease because this generation of people prefer healthy food. So the health hot dog would be changed the recipe. Only that. <laughs> Nice, thank you, thank you very much. Tomorrow we'll, we'll buy two cherry panels for me because I love them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love, yeah. we love them. We love We have to make a big fight <clears throat> to buy them, right? Yeah, they are really popular. And there are some little cars that are selling similar product, but it's not the same, you know, cherry no, the it's, it's not the same. <laughs> okay, thank you, group number three, congratulations. So to finish, let's go to group number four, right? Domingo, Yvette, Mariano, and Roberto, please. Okay, to share. Um, if you want, I present the, the, the word and you explain. Mariano. Okay. Uh, the product is called a champagne. The first step, the marketing introduction, uh, called a champagne is a Salvadorian beverage to produce by industries like Ascada since uh, 1965. 1965, Mariano. 1965. 1965. Mm. 1965. Uh, the number two is ground. Collection pan has grown in the decade, 70s and 90s, getting back most popular beverage in the young people. A great marketing strategy was the advertising material single. Uh, Mat maturity uh, actually was a change is the package and preserve the original flavor uh, to decline currently brand is still marketing that's all thank you mariano and group number four thank you very much good and you're talking about my favorite thing, you know. I love cola champagne, I love choripanes. Okay. Cola champagne, right choripanes. We have a 10. <laughs> yeah, you have a 10, of course. The four groups have 10, right? And besides cola champagnes, uh, have a new presentation because in the past they were only in glass made of uh, bottles made of glass, sorry. But now yes. uh, they, we have can, right? Carlos, do you have a commentary, Carlos? No, teacher, no. No, no. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. So excellent class. All of you made a good presentation. And what I like the most is that you understand the four steps, right? And you apply the four steps in the products, right? Don't worry about pronunciation. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about grammar. The important thing here is to express yourself, right? Good. Uh, so we're going to continue tomorrow, but uh, today I will have... Uh, Trini for the one one and one uh, session, right? Trini, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Stay with me, Trini. Don't don't go, please. We're going to have the ten minute, right? So I will pass the the attendance, and then you can go to sleep, right? Be one. <laughs> so, Trini. Present. Good, but don't go. Don't only you then you stay there, right? Uh, Aminda. Present. Carlos William. Carlos. Present. Okay, good. Have a good and night. Good night. Domingo. Present. Good, good night. Good night. Ever. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night, Jose Roberto. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Carla Vanessa. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Leslie. 
Leslie. Leticia. Present teacher. Good. Have a good night, Leticia. God bless you. Thank you. Mariano. Present teacher. Good, good. night. Have a good night. God bless you. Oscar Arnulfo. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Have a good night. Rosibel. Present, but I have one question for you. Yes. Do you have a question? Uh, yes. Uh, you mentioned in the in the record uh, the that this day we can do some some tasks. Present. Ah, yes. In the in the platform. Uh -huh. no, in the platform. Are you connected to the platform? Rosibel está conectada a la plataforma. Uh, no, but I, I will. Oh, please do. If you have uh, in the in the email that you receive, there is a link. Mm -hmm. and then you click and you connect mm -hmm. to the platform. Mm -hmm. So and, and there are for yesterday was one task and for today mm -hmm. there is another, right? So ah, you okay. click and you complete. Okay. Uh, you are in the WhatsApp group, Rosibel? No. 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 So please no. contact with Inglés Corporativo and ask them to join you in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Right? Because okay. in the task of today, there was a mistake. Había un pequeño error. Number one and number three are incorrect. So you have to mm -hmm. uh, switch them. Tiene que cambiarla de lugar. Understand? And then you have yeah. to answer incorrectly. Tiene que contestarlo incorrectamente, aunque aunque ya vimos okay. cuál es la, el proceso adecuado este día, ¿verdad? That is okay. number one, a market mm -hmm. introduction. Number two is the, the growth. Number three is maturity. And number four is decline, right? But in the platform are incorrect. En la plataforma, la, la uno y la tres están mezcladas. Entonces, usted tiene que contestar incorrectamente, pero ya sabemos okay. cuál es la respuesta. Okay, Rosibel? Uh, If you, you have any extra question, you can write in the WhatsApp to me. Okay? Hey, what is the, the number, please? Uh, seven, seven. Uh-huh. Four, five. Mm -hmm. Seven, seven. Mm -hmm. Five, two. Five, two, okay. Seven, seven, four, five, seven, seven, five, two. Javier Gomez, okay. teacher, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Have, Have a good night. Have a good night, Rosalind. En el mensaje que le pudiste haber mandado de inglés corporativo, ahí, mandan el, ahí mandaron el link. Uh -huh. WhatsApp, I told you, I told you, right? Uh -huh. Uh huh. In in the email, it's everything, right? Okay. So you can join okay. Rosibel in in the in email that you receive. There is everything. Ahí se puede conectar en todo en la plataforma, en el grupo de WhatsApp, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I repeat, okay. if you still have questions or problems, uh, you can call me or send me a message, please. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye have bye. a good night. Uh, Yvette. Yvette. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. With Vanessa good night. Noemi. Vanessa Noemi. Present and good night. Okay, Thank good you. night. God bless you. Walter Omar. Walter. Present. Okay, have good. Rest, bye. Bye bye. Have a good night. Wendy. Present. Have a good night. Good night. Miriam Veronica. Present, teacher. Good okay, night. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow, Miriam. Thank you. Okay, Salvador Chamba. I'm here, Mr. Okay, good night. Thank you. Have a good night. And Debbie, mande me mensaje. Hey, goodbye. That's your son. Hey. What's the name of your son, Chamba? Right. Hey. Salvador Adrián. Ah, yes. Salvador Junior. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I have something for Salvador. Give me a second. Okay, give me a second. Hi. Hi, Hello. Hello, Salvador. <laughs> How are you? Fine. My name is Dino. Er, Dino. Okay, have a good night. <laughs> good night. Desi. Bye bye. Bye, Desi. bye. Buenas noches. Go have a good night, Chamba. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, good. Okay, and Debbie, I received your message, Debbie. 
Thank you. Trini, are you there? Yes. Trini, está por ahí? ¿Qué tal? How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, how do you like the class? ¿Qué le pareció la clase? Very good. Difficult, so so, yes, or very easy. Que, que poquito, Sorry? He tenido, tenido inconvenientes a mí con, con el internet. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Entonces, yes, estuvo yes, yo yes. bien y todo eso. Sí, sí, eso me he dado cuenta, Trini. Ajá, uh -huh, pero, pero es interesante. Hoy casi no la hice participar mucho, ¿verdad? Sí, no, he podido encender la cámara igual. Sí, sí, es que cuando se enciende no, la, la igual, cámara... igual es... este, estaba como tardado. Sí. Eh, eh, where do you live, Trini? Where do you live? Sonsonate. Sonsonate, right? So, maybe in, in this moment, Sonsonate is a problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. in San Pero Salvador, por la lluvia. Okay. So it was raining in Sonsonate. Estaba lloviendo ahorita en Sonsonate. Okay. Bueno, por eso. Entonces, ahora estaba, <coughs> estaba muy tardado. Cuando usted pedía que leyeran la, algo, yo estaba viendo la, la anterior. Entonces, ah, sí estaba okay, tardada la, sí. la presentación. Ajá, entonces igual si me hubiera dicho que leyera, <ríe> yo hubiera leído hasta que me hubiera parecido. <ríe> I'm sorry, pero... Trini, lo siento mucho, Trini, pero espero que mañana no. esté, esté mejor la señal. Tomorrow, right? Sí, ojalá. Ojalá que sí, sí, muy bien. Ojalá y que... está en su computadora, Trini. No, ahorita estoy en el teléfono. En el celular, muy bien, sí. Y, uh -huh. y, pero otras veces se conecta con la computadora o solo celular. En, de preferencia solo en, en el celular porque en la computadora como que falla un poquito más el, el internet. Más, más, es más lento. Sí, es más lento. Entonces por eso es mejor de, del teléfono. Sí, sí, bueno. Aunque igual sí hay muchos problemas con eso. Pero es, es la señal, es la señal creo, ¿verdad? Es que sí, estos días, sí, es. estos días ha estado muy lluvioso en todo El Salvador, así que ¿Verdad? Eh, le cuento Ajá. que ayer yo tuve algunos problemas también, entonces la entiendo perfectamente, Trini, no se preocupe. Uh, ¿Hay alguna parte que a usted le gustaría que yo le explicara? Sí, por eso es que a veces, a veces este, voy a encender la cámara otras veces, ¿no? Y así voy a estar. Ay. Ok, sí entiendo, entiendo. Lo importante es que nos comuniquemos, pero... ¿Hay alguna parte que le gustaría que le explicara nuevamente, Trini? Eh, pues ahorita no, porque como empezamos, casi siempre me toca la primera. Bueno, ahora fui la segunda. Pero este, casi no hay mucho que... Ya después van surgiendo las dudas. Sí. Igual con eso de que usted nos manda también la presentación, es... Es de gran ayuda igual porque así nosotros vamos haciendo nuestro archivo. Esta noche también les voy a mandar el, el, la segunda presentación, ¿verdad? Así es que ahí se va a dar cuenta de los... Yo siento que estaba difícil lo del vocabulario, ¿verdad? El withdraw, sí, sí, la verdad que sí. discontinuo, todas esas palabras, ¿verdad? Appeal, withdraw... Pero, <risa> sí, esa palabra sí. es nueva para usted, Trini. Eh, sí, appeal, growth, eh, withdraw también. Eso sí, correcto. Es, prácticamente. Es que, más que todo el vocabulario relacionado con eh, los productos, ¿verdad? De las compañías, porque recuerde que este inglés es inglés para el trabajo. Entonces, um, todo ese vocabulario está relacionado con con los productos que las compañías hacen. En su caso, sí. eh, Trini, ¿en dónde trabaja usted, Trini? Where do you Soy work? Maestro. Ajá. Entonces trabaja en un colegio. Ah, sí, sí es cierto, me acordé. Yes. Entonces, en su caso, eh, usted vende servicio. No es producto, sino que es servicio. ¿eh? Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Okay. And what subject do you teach? ¿Qué, qué materia da? Eh, varias. Doy ciencias sociales, artística, moral. Y okay, but, but you are preparing to, to teach English, right? <laughs> <laughs> Quién sabe, ay, uno ay, nunca sabe. Ah, pues sí. Bueno, uno nunca sabe. Uno nunca sabe, Trini, así que probablemente, ¿verdad? Ahí, si le dice el director, Trini, ¿usted sabe hablar inglés? Y dice, yes, I do. <risa> ah, pues no, me va a dar esta clase. No, hoy ya me ha tocado, ya me ha tocado darla. Ah, pero bueno. me he ido por lo básico, hace años atrás. Ok. Entonces, como no, no, o sea, lo básico nada más, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. me iba por las partes del cuerpo, los números, los colores, las partes de la casa, los animales, o, o sea, cosas más, así. Que, más que todo vocabulario, Ajá. entonces. Tenía, sí. Exacto, más que todo así me iba, alguna que otra conversación corta, pero, pero o sea, más que todo vocabulario. Porque okay. igual eran chicos de tercer grado, entonces no había mucho. No se puede mucho. Ponerlo a, a conversar del maturity, del growth, del decline, lo iba a perder. <risa> okay. Más bueno. la maestra perdida y ellos también. <risa> no, 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 pero ese vocabulario es bonito. Um, y si hay oportunidad con una computadora, pues alguna vez tiene el chance. ¿vale? Es magnífico dar... O con el celular también, ¿verdad? Y se les puede poner con un parlantito, se les pone canciones a los niños. Si algún día le toca, sí. pues ya está preparándose mejor, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sí. Ok, Trini. Igual, eh, antes... la computadora es in indispensable. Claro que sí, sí. Uh -huh. ah, ¿Y es público la escuela o es privado? No, es privada. Ah, ok, muy bien. Todavía no llego a público. <risa> Bueno, Trini, le voy a dar unos consejos para que usted mejore su inglés. Eh, si gusta anotar, le voy a dar un sitio donde usted puede investigar de todo, ¿verdad? Gramática, lectura, música, de todo. Eh, se llama el sitio, si gusta apuntarlo. Se llama www agenda web unido todo agenda web punto org de organización verdad org agenda web punto org este es un sitio de internet que le va a ayudar muchísimo ahí puede buscar en su celular ¿verdad? aparte de eso Trini en YouTube usted puede practicar con los videos en inglés esta semana yo les he enviado dos videos. Uno de una canción. Y ahora les envié un video de conversaciones. ¿Sí? Además de eso, en YouTube, Trini, usted puede encontrar eh, audiolibros. Que duran como dos horas. Son bien largos, ¿verdad? Pero usted puede, puede practicar. Por ejemplo, uno de mis favoritos es El Principito. The Prince, The Little Prince. Ese ahí está en YouTube. Entonces usted puede verlo en su teléfono y practicar en su tiempo libre, ¿sí? Y por último, mi último consejo es, no sé si uh, tiene Netflix o cable. No. No, no, cable. Uh -huh. No. Sí. Sí, bueno. En cable hay la opción de cambiar algunos canales en inglés. Entonces yo le aconsejo que haga ese cambio ahí en, en, el, en el menú. Vaya al menú y ahí le puede dar eh, lenguaje. En lugar de ponerle español, le pone inglés. Y algunos canales, especialmente de películas, le van a aparecer en inglés. ¿Sí? Entonces esa es otra forma de practicar. ¿Ok? Okay. Esos son algunos consejitos para que haga práctica extra, ¿verdad? Pero cualquier cosa, pues ahí estamos a la orden, Trini. Y espero que mañana okay, gracias. tenga una mejor señal, ¿verdad? Ojalá que sí. Okay. <risa> Ahorita bueno. lo que estoy haciendo es jugar Duolingo. Ah, muy bien. Vocabulario. Eso es excelente. Yes. Sí. 
Esta ayuda. <risa> bueno, Excelente. gracias. La felicito. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta antes de retirarnos. No, muchas gracias bueno. por su tiempo. Bueno, no hay problema. Cuando tengan alguna duda ahí, deténgame la clase. Teacher, explain again. Si hablo muy rápido, también deténgame. Oiga. Okay. <risa> ok, Trini. Have okay. a good night. God bless you. Good night. Bye bye.